Welcome back to another PG-13 Bible story. Today we take a look at a story that may not be quite so well known that comes to us in 2 Kings chapter 9. Today the topic of our story is Jezebel. Maybe you've heard of Jezebel before. Maybe you saw our last episode. It is the same Jezebel who brought Baal's priests into the court of the king of Israel. It's this same Jezebel who sought to kill Elijah. Maybe you remember from your catechism classes as Jezebel orchestrated, orchestrated the death of Naboth for his vineyard so to give to her husband Ahab. Jezebel is not a good person. Just some of those terrible and horrible things that she has done, she has made herself out to be an obvious and clear enemy of God. God does not deal kindly with his enemies. Jehu comes by God's bidding to take care of business. Jehu, who would be the next king, comes to her home, and she on the top floor sticks her head out the window and calls to Jehu. Jehu instead calls to her servants calls to them and says, who is with me? Push her out the window. And they do it. Even the servants of Jezebel must not like her very much as they push her out the window and she falls to the ground and as she falls, her blood splatters on the, the wall and upon the horse's legs. And to make matters worse, the horses then go and trample her and they then go and have a meal. Leave her there in the street, trampled and dead. They go and eat, careless about what had just happened. Now, after they had eaten, they decide, well, we should probably take care of Jezebel and her body. And so they send out servants to bury her, and yet they don't find her. She'd been eaten by the dogs. She was reduced to the dung of the dogs and scattered throughout the territory so that no one could say, this is Jezebel. Wow. Complete and utter total desecration. God is not playing games. God doesn't play games with his enemies. God doesn't play games with Jezebel, with the Egyptians, God doesn't play games with sin or death or the devil. No, when God goes to war with his enemies, he totally and utterly defeats them entirely. They are completely done away with, annihilated, left to be scattered among the dung of the earth. God comes out victorious. Victorious over Jezebel, victorious over sin and death and the devil for you. So that he and his people triumph. He is victorious. He is all-powerful. He is the one who saves his people from the evil and the wretchedness of the world to bring them to everlasting life at peace forever. In the name of Jesus. Amen.